After 20 years, Philadelphia police say they believe they have finally identified the dangerous person known as the Fairmount Park rapist. Investigators just made that announcement in the last half hour. The rapes happened between 2003 and 2007 and stumped investigators for decades. Tuesday night, the big story on Action News is breaking news, and it's a major break in a cold case of the Fairmount Park rapist. It came as investigators were looking into recent slashings in Pennypack Park. And we have live team coverage tonight. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson is in Pennypack Park, where a police search took place today. But let's begin with Action News reporter John Paul live at police headquarters, and of course, a lot of details coming out on this breaking story, John. Right, sorry, Rick, there's still more details coming out right now because that news conference is still underway here at police headquarters up there on the fifth floor. We watched it together as police revealed they believe they know who the infamous Fairmount Park rapist is. They plan on charging him possibly by the end of the day with the murder of Rebecca Park in 2003, something that's been on their minds. They mentioned in the news conference since this happened so long ago. I want to show you a picture of who we're talking about. Elias Diaz is the man who's in custody right now. Now we're showing you his mugshot, but also some of the images that were created by uh, investigators as they looked at his DNA profile. They tried to get an idea based on witness reports and his DNA of what he looked like. And you can see that striking resemblance. Now, they are still waiting on final DNA results to issue the charges, but they do say they fully believe that he is their suspect. He was arrested at Pennypack Park just a few days ago. They say he was riding a bicycle with a machete when he was arrested. He would not give his name. But they took him in, they fingerprinted him, they pulled DNA, and now they say they believe that Elias uh, Diaz is the person that killed Rebecca Park in 2003. Now, she had gone out for a jog in Fairmount Park in July, July 13th. She was reported missing just a few days later. Her body was later discovered under some brush and some rocks and logs. They believe that she'd been sexually assaulted and strangled. They recovered DNA that they say also linked to several other sexual assaults in the Fairmount Park area in 2003. They say that DNA is what linked them together. And then it went cold until 2007 when another sexual assault happened, this time in Pennypack Park. They say DNA was collected in that case as well. And that's what brings us to today. Here's what investigators had to say just a short time ago in the news conference. Uh, we have additional DNA results that have returned so far. Still waiting on final confirmation uh, of additional D DNA results. However, everything we have at this point leads us to believe that uh, Mr. Diaz is also involved or a person of interest in rela uh, regarding the murder of Rebecca Park, which occurred in July of 2003. I fully anticipate on charging Elias Diaz uh, with murder and related offenses with regard to the homicide of Rebecca Park that dates back to 2003. I fully anticipate that we will have the results of the DNA before today is out. We did hear from a DNA expert about all this. They had submitted his DNA uh, to different databases that they have, one known as Codex. They did get some hits on a family tree and they had it narrowed down they just needed that final clue, and it looks like that final clue finally came. And another striking resemblance here, in all of these attacks, they describe a Hispanic male riding a bicycle. Well, in uh, just a couple of days ago, when he was arrested at Pennypack Park, they say he was riding a bicycle, and we did see a police confiscating some of those bikes. They say he also was homeless. There was no address. He may have been living somewhere in that wooded area. A lot more to talk about. We'll do that a little bit later. Also, we're posting it on 6abc.com. For now, we're live outside of police headquarters. John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Rick, Shari. All right. John, thank you.